Hot Wings in the Morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. Morning showers today, but afternoon sun. 70 the high. That's eventually where we'll get to. The Tigers had a rough night. They were beat up. Well, not, I mean, they were beat up by Max Scherzer. They lost 3-2. to two. I mean, in the yeah, end, you yeah, look I back mean, at the end of the season, you go, ah, that, that night in May, they only lost 3-2. to two. No big deal. Yeah, it was actually a pretty good pitcher's duel game, except that Scherzer was just so crazy good. Right. He strikes out 20 in the game. The Tigers have been on the bottom side of that action twice now in mm. team history. It's only happened five times in Major League Baseball. Because I know you want to break down sports pretty badly. I and do, Joe, yeah. you love it as well. Yeah. I'm generally we chomping at the bit do. to do that. Uh, what's more important, a perfect game by a pitcher or striking out 20? Joe, we'll start with you. Well, I'd have First, to... First, your question is, <laughs> well, what is a perfect game? A perfect game is when... There's n- when no one gets on base, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which is it's different than a no. Hit. Wait, why is that different than a no hitter? Because a guy could get on base mm-hmm. in a no hitter. Yes. Yeah. But don't they catch all the balls and then everyone's out? Uh, the pitcher may walk someone or strike a oh, batter. Yeah. 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 Or maybe an error allows yep. somebody mm-hmm. on base. I got you. Yep. So. That's the perfect game is better than a no hitter, but this is, this is better than a perfect game because it's so rare. Okay. I would assume you're, you're next to what? Five other names, four other names, well, three, how many other names? Three, three other, other names. names. Clemens three. did it twice. You're once, four. Three before steroids yes. and once after. <laughs> um, all right. What about this Joe? While you're, cause you're on a baseball roll here and I know mm-hmm. you're into sports. What's more impressive, a player hitting 14 home runs in one game or striking out. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could convince you that someone once struck 14 home runs in a game. That, hey, it was just on a roll. The ball was really jumping up that was a that great, night. That was a great game. I'll very, never forget it, that. Yeah. In Colorado. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That Sid Finch. was really yeah, traveling. Okay. Sid I got Finch you. from the Toledo Carpenters, who were in the major leagues in the 1920s for a while. Yeah. Was Sid Fitch that, the guy that they made Sports up? Illustrated okay. made up, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was back when the outfield fences were only 100 feet away. Right. <laughs> and, and they played 40 innings, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And there were only four guys on a side. <laughs> MJ Berglitz with Fifth Third Bank. Look what you've walked into today. Yeah, it's chaos. Mm-hmm. That's I was gonna, right. Yeah, I was gonna say a room filled with charming gentlemen. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm feeling. That's right. Yep. Yep. Another room full of jocks. <laughs> the Riverbank Run comes up Saturday. That's right. Thirty nine. One of us, the thirty ninth. How about that? Huh? Yeah. Five hundred people in the first one, and now here we are. Here we are. Twenty thousand people and forty thousand spectators. In fact, the largest twenty five k in the nation. So right. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's the pinnacle of twenty five k races. That's There's right. no question. No question. Saturday, no. No exception. It gets bigger every year, better every year. That's right. And I know there's a number of improvements. That's and right. Ad- additions that have been added to make the experience even better. Yeah. So uh, tomorrow we kick off with the Sports and Fitness Expo at DeVos Place. And that's uh, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. free admission. You can come on down. A whole new layout. Uh, you can pick up your gear. You can also register for uh, the 5K, the 10K, the 25K. Or if you want to walk with your family, mm-hmm. you can enjoy the new Pear and Beer Garden. And uh, people are going to like that. That's oh, right. I can, yeah, that's pretty great. I can enjoy that tomorrow as that's well as right. Saturday. And then you can run your race and enjoy it again. at the I was going to ask, can I just pass the finish line and then run straight to where the beer sure. is, even yeah. though it'll yeah. be like 830 in the morning? Yeah, why that's not? Right. We're going to start drinking beer at 715. So come on down. I you like don't even have to run the race. I like it. I <laughs> and people like will take you up on saying. that. They okay. will. That's they will. Yeah. yeah. So uh, and then tomorrow, you know, our good friends at Saucony uh, from Wolverine Worldwide, they're going to have the Saucony Experience Track. So you can come on down and. Try out some great products and run up and down the track, and you might earn, you know, some free beer doing that as well. So it's perfect. That's right. I'm going to take us on a bit of a tangent. Okay. Forgive me, MJ, mm-hmm. and to everybody else. I worked at a shoe store my last year of high school and my first year and a half of college. And at that time, you know, running shoes were big, but Saucony, no one really knew. Even the people that ran, were runners would call it different names. And we had a guy that worked there who was a running, a running snob, mm-hmm. and he loved those shoes. And I swear to you, if you came in and you said, uh, let me try these Sacconis, he'd go, we're all out. <laughs> he would just say no. <laughs> they go, you're all out of those? Yeah. I haven't told you my size. We're out of them in all sizes. And the rest of us would be standing around going, Man, what a jerk. Wow. Yeah, we sold them to the people who know how to say it. <laughs> yeah. yeah.
That's pretty oh. bad. Pretty bad. So, but pe- for people that may want to still sign up for the race, maybe maybe they are regular runners, but maybe they thought they're going to be out of town, or they've decided, you know what, I'm going to I'm going to do it this year. I'm going to do the 5K or the family run. You can still get in. That's right. Yeah, just come on down tomorrow, and we'll take care of you. And uh, we've also got some uh, that uh, Saucony mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, special edition Riverbank Run apparel, which we've never had before. So that'll be limited edition. Get it while it, while it lasts. MJ, yeah. I've got a question for you. Okay. Might not have the answer. Okay. I am leading tre- Team Free Beer and Hot Wings. Mm-hmm. I've been having people join. I swear I got an email that said, if because I'm part of this team before the race, I get to hang out in DeVos and have a locker and food, possibly drinks is that true or did i make that up no Can't that is absolutely that is absolutely true you're yes. welcome inside devos place where we'll have uh hot beverages and private gear check if you're part if you're part of the the free beer team yes absolutely and only that team that's right yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's <laughs> the only team there might yeah. be a yeah. few mm-hmm. others joining you but nope. yeah, we'll get only you us yeah. and i think right. there's five of us so be our sixth make if sure you, you come mm-hmm. down early and you find a great spot to park um if yeah. you want you know five three riverbank you can mm-hmm. see where there's some hot spectator spots and parking there's a few things going on downtown this weekend and you can also catch the route and find like if you don't want to come downtown you want to maybe right. you know, yeah. quick in and out somewhere else yeah there's especially other johnson you see park and yeah. um yep what is finish fest because this sounds uh, you kind of referenced it earlier at calder right. plaza so you start off at 7 a.m. and mm-hmm. we'll, it'll take us a couple hours to get everybody through the start line, come through uh, down Ottawa and uh, great spectator spot and you'll come into Finish Fest mm-hmm. and uh, up on Calder Plaza, we have a rockin' party. We've got Buffalo Wild Wings. Again, we've got the Perrin Beer Garden. Perfect. Our good friends from McUltra mm-hmm. and uh, great Scott Band will be playing. Nice. It's a so festival. party. It, it really is. has it become is. A lot like of celebration. one of the signature downtown events of the year. That's right. Uh, and has been for a long time. Yeah, but again, started out humbly with, uh, it was the marketing director. director for, Marty Allen for Old Kent at, Bank for at Old that Kent time. Bank. Right. And he yeah. was a runner and he's like, I want to be able to play while I'm at work, I assume is how that worked, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We throw him under the well, bus. the and city yeah, might wanna, have come to the yeah. bank and asked to ha- for help getting people downtown. And, yeah. and today, we you know we just never imagined where it would be. And by the way, what a different downtown it was That's 39 right. years ago That's versus right. now. It's yeah. been such a, you know. All you had to move was some, like, wagons out of the way. <laughs> And people would do their thing. Your yeah, timeline might be true. off, but yeah. yeah it's right. true. The idea is right. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. right. Dirt yeah. roads in those days. Yeah. That was a, that was a tough run, all those ruts. <laughs> Not du- duels happening. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, right? Saloon doors. So the Sports mm-hmm. and Fitness Expo is tomorrow at DeVos Place. That's from 11 until 8, and that has everything we talked about. And then, uh, obviously, the race Saturday morning. You can get all the details. 5-3 Riverbank Run. Dot com. MJ Berklich, thanks for coming in. Hey, thanks, guys. All right. We'll see you on Saturday. All right. Uh, look forward to handing Joe a trophy. Yeah. yeah. What does Joe win for winning? All the beer you can drink. Okay. I'm Free. holding you to that. Because Joe's going to win. He, you <laughs> oh, can tell he's winning. been working on his winning physique. Is, winning is the word we use for living. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yes, that is true. <laughs> yeah, winning is not dying. For being able to take that many steps in a row, <laughs> I have won. That's right. All right, Smashing Pumpkins. On 97.9 GRD Rocks.